What's up everyone and welcome to a beautiful morning in Pokemon Zeta and Omicron, but don't be fooled, the fact that it is morning here in the game doesn't mean I've actually woken up early to record, it actually means that I've stayed up so late that it is now morning in the game, making my sleep schedule even worse than it was before and completely being the opposite of everything that I was hoping to accomplish. Anyway, welcome back. I have a little bit of explaining to do other than the fact that, you know, my sleep schedule sucks and there was no video yesterday. Uh, first off, on the sidebar, you may notice now Mai is finally fixed. His last episode, I messed up and I left Mai as a Magby for the longest time, but now, finally, she is a Magmar. The second thing you might notice in the sidebar and in our little Pokemon following us buddy here, we've got a new member, Loki the Zorua who is still undecided for whether traveling with us is a good thing or not. But that will change soon, much like it has changed for our other Pokemon, who now love us, I think, uh, including Toadstool, who's also back with us, because we're going to be heading through a very dark and spooky cave today, which we need Flash to get through. But I do need to, I guess, explain a little bit, and we'll do that while we go through this cave, because it's really not that long, and I don't want to just walk around for any longer. So this is Shadow Path, I think we just saw there. I didn't even have enough time to read it. Uh, but anyway, as you guys know, last time I was trying desperately to catch myself a Murkrow and that in the end did not work out because it took me almost an hour to even encounter one. I don't know how I have the worst luck apparently in finding a Murkrow. I swear I just prayed repel. Oh wait, that's because Loki is actually only level 8, so... Oh wait, no, what? Well that... Oh, that's why it's Tetra, because Zorua's special ability allows her to look like another Pokemon, and she's- he's already gonna die. Now the real Loki comes out. Oh my goodness! Loki, you're gonna die already! Loki, no! <laughs> we just got Loki, and he's already dead. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go back and heal up already. Uh, but anyway, that gives me a little bit more time to explain what happened. So, Murkrow ended up taking so, so long to find, and after I finally found one, uh, that recording ended up failing. I don't know. I've been trying out like I said a couple of different recording methods for this game since what I usually use Which is fraps. Sorry uh, wasn't working out, but now fraps is working out It's just I have to record the whole desktop if you were ever wondering how I record my videos Well now, you know I use fraps and I use audacity to record Because uh, a lot of people always ask me how I do that So anyway, I'm gonna put Lilu up first since Loki really I don't want to be encountering wild Pokemon right now um, and Loki can, or sorry, Lilu can probably handle anything that runs into our path, so... Anyway, that's about a minute wasted there. I am really sorry, I wanted to use Murkrow, but... And I had a really, a bunch of really cool nickname suggestions as well in the comments. Most of them were, like, Mafia boss names, which sounded really awesome. Um, I actually ended up even catching one, but like I said, the recording messed up. And I, hopefully this recording goes better. Anyway, here is N, the Pokemon. I can feel their pain. I can hear them cry out. I need to help them. It's Team Olympus! The souls of the Pokemon call out to me. Tell me to stop their evil plans. I must help them. Out of my way! No! And you beautiful, beautiful man, why? Why must you leave me? And... Anyway, now that we're standing here, you can notice I've got a new nifty backpack. Uh, it's a new trainer sprite, which I will link down in the description. Uh, some of you guys also in the comments, aside from Murkrow nicknames, left me a couple of... Uh, sprite packs that I can download which will actually update the way some things look so now we've got a white backpack on our trainer Which you can see there on the trainer card and here too. I've changed that to be uh, The backpack again you can get a yellow or a white backpack on your trainer one thing that I was actually going to ask uh, Or actually try to do myself was make the trainer character into one that looks like my icon like my YouTube icon uh, So if anyone is a really good spriter, I gave it a try and really I'm not the best spriter out there uh, So if anyone out there is a good spriter Email me at munchingorangebusiness at gmail.com. If you're interested in it, uh, you'll definitely receive a shout out in the video because it would be really, really cool to play through this game as my own character. You know, I thought that was a really cool idea. And yeah, if anyone can make it happen and you're good at spriting, um, basically you'd have to remake this little character here to be the character in my icons. So I don't know. Email me there. Uh, also, I guess that's my business email. So now that I said it, I might get a bunch of other emails about other stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I actually get a couple of offers on there from video game companies, which is really cool because that's the original reason why I started it, but most of the time they end up being for games that I guess I, I'm not really interested in, but it's still cool and it's a cool opportunity that, you know, people actually do email me. I didn't really expect it to be that way, but it's been really cool for the far. Anyway, what I was going to say, the other thing was, um, 
yeah, I'm really sorry. I wanted to use Murkrow, but then after I ended up catching one, really, it, it just wasn't as cool as I expected it to be. And I mean, maybe it's because it wasn't a Honchkrow yet. I could go back and get one still, but I don't know. The recording messed up and really it just kind of killed my vibe. And now we're redoing the same episode that I did before. And now we are here in Fianga City where we're going to be wasting the rest of this episode because there is so much to do here. Starting off with this young man here, he will trade you a Shelmet for a Care Blast or the other way around, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure that, you know, those are version exclusives for Zeta and Omicron. So if you're playing the other one, it will probably be the opposite. One thing that I don't get are these rocks here. If you actually approach them, the rock looks dry and is slightly warm to the touch. All of these cities, major cities, seem to have one of these rocks, and I don't know what they do. But, like I was just saying, there is a ton, a ton, ton of stuff to do here. Oh, this guy does the opposite trade, a Care Blast for a Shelmet. So, wait, this guy does Sh Care Blast for Shelmet, and this guy does Shelmet for Care Blast. So, I guess if you have one of those, you can trade for the other one. Uh, let's start out with this house. I know that every single house actually has something interesting in it. Like this guy here works for the police force and is going to tell us a little bit about Team Olympus. The three commanders are Apollo, Artemis, and Athena. Last episode, we actually battled Athena. She was the uh, big Q-tip spear girl. Leading these three and the leader of Team Olympus itself is a man called Zeus who apparently has a legendary Pokemon. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Zeta... That will all be, of course, Team Asgard, and their leader is Odin. He's got an eye patch. He's pretty cool, and he doesn't afraid of anything. And this guy, do you know anything about Pokemon natures? They're little statistics every Pokemon has. My favorite nature is Adamant. I can make one of your Pokemon have this nature if you like. So this is a really interesting guy. He will actually change one of your Pokemon's natures to be Adamant, and our most physical-powered Pokemon right now is Lilu. So we are going to go ahead and give Lilu the Adamant nature. If we actually check that out, you'll see... That now Lilu has got that, which is really cool that that trainer exists there. Adamant nature, boost attack, lower special attack. Lilu, of course, has all physical moves, so pretty cool stuff. We could have also given it to Halucha. I thought that because it was a mystery gifted Pokemon, it would have a good nature by default, but it has Impish, which raises defense, lower special attack. Not the worst thing it could have, but apparently it's randomized. I'm not sure, actually, if that was done on purpose for the Halucha there, the gift one, or if uh, it is a randomized nature, but you know, that's not really bad to have. Um, one more thing that I wanted to mention before I forget is that these are actually the new Team Olympus Grunts. I have gone ahead and applied this patch that someone also linked in the comments. I really can't remember the name. I will go ahead and check it out next episode so that I can give you credit for that. But someone in the comments linked me a texture pack sort of thing that you can install that changes the Team Olympus Grunts to actually look kind of like they're from Olympus, which is really cool because they kind of just look like blue and purple Team Rocket Grunts, Zeta and Omicron. Um, I mean, the Team Olympus and Team Zygarde. Not Zygarde, freaking Asgard. Why did I say Zygarde? I guess they both end in guard. Avant Guard! What does that mean, Avant Guard? Oh my goodness. Um, hello, we're, we're the police club. There's nothing more than we love dressing in police uniforms. Would you like to join the police club? You know, policemen kind of scare me. I know that police are supposed to be these guys that make you feel safe, but really, whenever a policeman is around, I'm kind of, I don't know, I get kind of nervous. So, I guess we'll join the police club, and we can do a mission for them. We do have a mission, but it may prove too difficult. Please return when you have the diamond badge. Alright, well, we can't even do a mission. There's something about policemen that just... I guess there's a lot of policemen that I've known. I mean, I do have an uncle that, well, he's not really a policeman. He's more of a bodyguard actually now, but um, there, anyone except for him would really just kind of make me feel nervous instead of feeling safe. But I mean, I felt pretty safe when I was with him because he's a big, strong guy and he became a bodyguard. I guess he used to be a policeman though, which is really cool. I've never thought of that, like the bodyguard job. He's actually a bodyguard. It's interesting. It's interesting to think about family members and like what jobs they have. At least for me, because my family is so freaking diverse. I don't know how everyone is something different. I've had friends that, like, all their families kind of do the same thing. But, man, my family is so diverse. All right, this guy apparently will trade a Clefairy for a Smeargle. So, if you have a Clefairy, get yourself a Smeargle. Here is the Fianga Town Pokemon Gym. It's blocked off by a little cut tree, but we don't have cut yet. Young trainer, please, you can't leave us. We need to stop Team Olympus from taking over the Pokehadron. I don't even know what that is, man. That sounds crazy. Hey, what's up? 
Oh, I see a little shiny Voltorb over there, too. This is where I sleep when I'm not sightseeing. Usually, I work hard at the Pokehadron Collider. What the heck is that? It's been taken over by Team Olympus, so I guess that is our goal here in this city. And we're going to go ahead and get started on that because last time I recorded this, like I said, this is my second attempt here. Uh, there are a lot of things to do in the city. Oh, man, I forgot. A lot of people commented about this uh, back in the town we were at before. I think Onega Town. If you go into that place where we got the Ancient Tome and talk to the TV, we can get Rotom. So before I forget, I'm going to go do that. Anyway, this is the Cupmaster's house, I think. This little girl can apparently give you, wait, a Bonsly? Huh? I thought she gave you Cut, but apparently she wants to give us a Bonsly. Alright, that's one free Pokemon. There's actually a bunch of free Pokemon that you can get here. I'm gonna go ahead and name it Brock because Brock has a Bonsly and it's a rock Pokemon. My husband is the Cut Master. He's dedicated his life to learning the Cut move. Hee <laughs> hee! And I'm assuming this is Mr. Husband over here. Hello, I am the Cut Master. I've spent my life dedicated to mastering the HM Cut. Unfortunately, a young boy yelling about swag took my last one. You'll have to ask him for a copy. Wow. So it looks like our rival Jake has gone and run with the money. He's gone ahead and run away with the Cut HM. So we're going to have to get it from him. Kind of like we get it from him in um, Fire and Leaf Green, I guess. Well, not really from him, but we have to battle him to get to the captain of the SSN and Whatever, this guy talks about something really interesting that I didn't know about the game is that after you beat the Pokemon League, well first off you beat the HMs, then you go to the Pokemon League, and then there is something called the Sigil Halls. So he will actually teach you a little bit more about the Sigil Halls. They are a challenge that only exists in the Vezrin region. They're in the Vezrin Spear, the landmass on the far east of the region. There are four Sigil Halls still in operation. The Hall of Victors, the Hall of Heroes, the Hall of Champions, and the Hall of Masters. They are owned by the Elite Four. Only someone who's defeated them can have the honor of facing their appropriate Sigil Hall. In fact, the Sigil Halls are a lot like gyms, but for the Elite Four. So, from what this guy tells us, this is kind of going to be the post-game of this game. So, we're a really long time away from that. There isn't really a fifth Sigil Hall, but people call it that anyways. It's supposedly a power where, or a place where a powerful trainer has gone to meditate for many years. And I'm still wondering who exactly that trainer is, because... I have a feeling it's going to be someone that we know from another Pokemon title, like maybe Red or something like that, uh, is what I can think of. Hello, have a good day. Wait, what? Tough trainer person. Okay. Wow, wait. Oh, for a second. Yeah, never mind. For a second, I was about to say that this house was useless, but then I remembered this. And then when I talked to the bug guy, I was like, yeah, this house is useless. But no, you can actually get yourself another Pokemon here. You can get another starter, in fact. Because if you remember, the starters of this game were the Sucky Sucky Mouth couple, or trio, I guess, not couple of Pokemon. Um, Bellsprout, Horsey, and Magby. So if you pick Magby, you can get yourself a Bellsprout in this house. If you pick Bellsprout, you can get a Horsey, I think. And if you picked Horsey, you can get a Magby in this house. So yeah, you get the one that you're strong against, basically. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try to catch this guy. Or girl, actually. It's going to be Deep Throat the Bell Sprout, just because, you know, it's another starter that we can get. I don't think I'm going to use her, but, you know, it's cool to have all of these Pokemon. There are so many Pokemon that you can actually get in this city. We've already got a Bonsly, as you guys saw, um, and now we're going to get ourselves a Bell Sprout. There's three trades that you can do to get Shelmet, Carablast, and uh, Smeargle, so a lot of Pokemon that you can get here in Fianga City or Town. I think it's City, actually, so there we go. We got ourselves a Deep Throat. I wonder if this Beautifly also wants to be caught. Beauty? Oh, it was holding a berry. Nice, we get a free berry as well. This city, man, this is the city of free Pokemon, I swear. You should just call it like free city. Free city. Free, free city. Oh wait, no, that's not the right song. I like to stay in Fianga in between hiking trips. I don't remember if there's anything in this house, but we do learn about the gym leader, PK96. Called the perfect battler is a steel type robot that destroys challengers. Apparently, the gym leader of this town is a freaking robot. It's a battling robot so intelligent that it can apparently, or apparently, think for itself. You'll need to take on the Agassiz City Gym first, though. Oh. Well, I guess we can't even fight the freaking robot yet, so never mind. I thought we were actually going to get to challenge that guy soon. Um, by the way, I totally keep forgetting to mention this, but because I have been so bad with videos lately, or I guess in the last two days, um, another episode will be coming out later today. This one was uploaded kind of early. Hopefully, it's going to go up early. 
Uh, so yeah, another one should be coming out later today. Be sure to leave a like if you would like to see that second one earlier. I'll try and upload it as fast as I can, I guess. But yeah, since I've been lacking videos lately, in the last few days, I'm gonna try and post two just to make up for that and we can catch back up to the daily videos. Have you seen the egg dealer? He used to be back here. He would give out free Pokemon eggs to whoever he wanted. Wait, what? You, An egg dealer? Do you realize that you're living right... <laughs> He's dealing eggs right next to a police. <laughs> Never mind. I don't. I guess he got caught. I have no idea. One last house to check out, though. Do you like Pokemon? Yes, that's good. That's good. Zangus or Viper. Okay, I messed this up last time. Whichever Pokemon you would like, if you're playing along, answer the opposite. I want a Zangus, so I'm gonna say Viper. Oh shame! I was trying to give away the Zangus. You know what? Take it anyways. I can't stand this Pokemon. So yes. Answer the opposite one. If you would like a Zangus, answer Saviper. If you would like a Saviper, answer Zangus. Personally, I like Zangus more, and I can't really think of a nickname for this guy. So we're just gonna name it Bolt because it looks like that little dog from the movie Bolt, which I think Miley Cyrus was like a voice actor in or something. I have three very famous children. My youngest is the gym leader in Kivu Town. Graham is his name. Quite a fierce ghost trainer he is too. My middle child is named Tobias, he's in the Elite Four, and also a Never Nude. They even gave him a Sigil Hall over in the Veteran Spear. My oldest is in the government, his name is Wyatt, he owns the Pokemon storage system, wow. So this lady, this lady, my, 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 she's got, I guess I can't really say good genes because genes more affect the way that your kids look, but I guess, you know, I don't know, she might have like some good brain genes or something because all her kids ended up being super successful two very famous pokemon trainers and one that's like a genius pretty much made the pokemon system i guess that's kind of cool i never really have given much thought to the way that i guess kids are going to end up i haven't really ever thought about kids in general because i think i don't know that's just not really my priority right now anyway uh, we haven't even battled anyone this episode so you know what let's finally have a battle in this episode with a nice old man we should have at least one battle today. Gentleman B sending out his polywag. Gentleman B, what happened to Gentleman A? Ah, what a good joke, right? Anyway, I don't know why I actually went for Endure there. He went for Hypnosis and thankfully missed. I meant to go for Force Palm uh, to do some pretty good damage there. I hope so. Wow, we're level 16. This guy is 18. Somehow we've already fallen under leveled. Maybe because I've been trying to train like 20 Pokemon at once and mostly ended up putting my efforts into Halucha who I keep repeating that I don't want to use, but for some reason keep on training him. It's kind of annoying actually, uh, but that guy went down really fast. This guy's trying to fish Pokemon. I should probably be sending out Tetra here. It looks like there are a lot of water Pokemon to battle and that could be some good training for Tetra. Um, I also learned that Lilligant or Petlil evolves by, via a Sunstone. I thought it was going to be by level up, so I was going to do a lot of training to her, but it ends up that it is actually Sunstone. But I'm not going to do that for now because I think we can learn a lot of really good moves if we don't evolve Tetra until like level... I don't remember what level, but I know that she can learn... Um, what is the good attack? The good grass attack. There's Giga Drain and there's Energy Ball. I think Energy Ball is a TM though, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, we can learn maybe like Leaf Storm or something like that. I don't know. We'll see what Tetra ends up learning. I definitely need to start training her up some more though. Uh, but I guess for now our main four Pokemon are everyone except for Halucha and Toadstool that you see in the sidebar. Those are my main four for now. So I don't know. Some of that could change later on. We'll see. I still haven't solidified I guess my, my team yet. But hopefully soon we'll be able to solidify that. I totally forgot we were supposed to save the Pokey Hydron whatever thing. Oh, this is freaking, this is not Tetra, this is Loki. Loki, why are you out here? I gotta send out the real Tetra because I think Loki would probably die really fast. But anyway, we can get some more EXP, you know. And this will probably be the final battle and we might end off the episode after that. Or actually, I'm gonna try and figure out how we actually get into that Pokey Hydron Collider thing because... Apparently that's what we're supposed to do next. Either that or we just head on to the next town because we need to battle the Agassiz Town gym leader, not this one. Not PK96, the superhuman robot. Super fighting robot PK096, not Mega Man. Contrary to popular belief, you know, you, you may have thought I was going to say Mega Man there, but no, it's PK096, the steel type fighting robot sensation of, um whatever this city is called. I already forgot, the too many cities so far, 
We actually ended up getting to this city really, really quickly. It just, it was like a little cave, and then that was it. We were already in this town, so... There we go, though. There go two little twin girls. I guess um, we'll battle these two guys over here and head back to the town. We're the Pokemon Rangers. We're here to stand on a bridge for the rest of our lives, challenging any and all trainers who walk by. That's interesting. That is a really good life. You know, I wasn't thinking about kids before, but now when I have my kids, you know, I'm going to have two of them, and that's what they're going to do. They're going to stand somewhere forever, their entire life, and just defend some bridge and, and challenge people that walk by. That's, that's all they're going to do. That's going to be my kids that's what they're gonna be known for and be famous for i don't really know i guess if i do put some thought into it i really don't care as long as they're doing what they like which is really what i guess i liked about my mom is she was supportive of whatever i was doing i mean she didn't want me to go to school but she was definitely supportive of youtube still so i guess if i do put any thought into it it's just definitely gonna be supporting them in whatever it is they're gonna do even if it ends up backfiring you know you can be there and give them guidance, but definitely support them in whatever it is that they're doing, so. Man, this just became like a deep episode out of nowhere. Now we're doing some deep free Pokemon. It's not just free Pokemon City, it's free Pokemon and deep thought city, apparently. So we gotta make make a new song about it. Gotta make a remix of Mad City, call it Free Pokemon City. Except I don't know how Mad City goes. I used to listen to that song a lot like a couple of weeks ago, but now I don't, so I, I guess I kind of forgot how it goes. Anyway, we might die here. Yep. Sorry, Lilu. You know, you were destined for greatness, but unfortunately, today was not your day. So let's go for Mai, just because I don't want to send out Halucha. I know that we're going to still gain some EXP on Loki when we beat this Mianfu. Gosh darn it! Tetra was put to freaking sleep. This is not good. Um, Alright, I'm going to take out this Mianfu because I feel like he's probably more of a threat. Actually... Skitty could just put my to sleep as well. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. Get it? Oh my goodness, my. Ah, uh, well this sucks. Now they're both asleep and this guy is just gonna keep on meditating and sweep our team. Watch, it's gonna happen. Why couldn't that be wake up slap? Why does it have to be double slap, freaking Skitty? Stop. Stop slapping us. Thank goodness we burn it at least. Wait, Mianfu is somehow, oh, we got, we, we, uh, we embered it earlier, that's right. Alright, I definitely want to take out this Mianfu, though, because he's going to kill us. He's been meditating for so long. Can you stop meditating? That's just taunting at this point, man. Please, one of you two, wake up for the love of Arceus. I need you. Thank you, Tetra. And we missed. Great. Ah, <sighs> Tetra, Tetra, Tetra. Oh, my goodness. Alright, can we freaking kill this Mianfu this turn? He's going to kill someone. Protect, really? Wow, both of my attacks were wasted this turn because he decided to use Detect instead of the freaking gosh darn other thing he was using this entire time. Really, man? Alright, this is just not being fun right now. I guess we'll go ahead and try and take him out. Uh, we'll do half and half. There we go. He meditated so much, but he didn't even get to hit an attack. He decided to Detect instead. Thankfully, he didn't hit Tetra because it might have been the demise of Tetra, but... Now we can finally take out this skitty and end off this episode. So if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Like I said, another episode will probably be coming out later today. We're going to try and get into that Poke Hydron Collider or either that or just, I guess, keep exploring this route to the next city because I'm not sure which one is the one that we're supposed to do. Uh, if we do run into our rival, though, it will be interesting because I did a little bit of an update graphically to him as well. Uh, we can also check out this building actually next time, so... I don't know, let me know what you would like to see, and I guess we'll try and do that, or just figure out exactly what we can do. So yeah, see you guys in the next episode.